You're listening to KNVBC Revival Radio, broadcasting from Santa Clara, California. The time is 7 o'clock. American Family News on the Hour. I'm Chad Roney. Elon Musk has completed his $44 billion takeover of Twitter, and he's already planning some big changes. Fox's Brooke Sigman has the details. Reports indicate Elon plans to fire up to 75% of the social media network's workforce. Bloomberg is also reporting Musk will reverse lifetime Twitter bans, which can pave the way for people like former President Trump, the Babylon Bee, and others to return to the platform. He penned an open letter to advertisers with his intentions, saying, quote, Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. Our platform must be warm and welcoming to all where you can choose your desired experience according to your preferences. The Washington Post is reporting that Musk will hold a company-wide town hall today. It is something that does not always grab headlines or make front-page news. Some even call it boring. But as AFN's Chris Woodward explains, you should care about the GDP number. Dr. Samuel Gregg with American Institute for Economic Research says there are several reasons why GDP is important. It's about economic growth and economic growth, whether we like it or not, is very, very important for the well-being of the country. Because if you have negative growth or very low growth, then the country is simply not as economically strong as it should be. And if the country is not economically strong, then all of us, experience that negativity in some way, especially those people who are on the lower end of the income scale. They are the ones who suffer the most when the economy is not growing very much or it's not growing at all. Greg's comments coincide with the Commerce Department's announcement that the economy grew at a 2.6 annual rate from July through September, snapping two straight quarters of economic contraction. Still, Elaine Parker of Job Creators Network says you cannot just go with a headline number. It's really due in part from net exports, which is really part of what makes up the GDP. It doesn't say much about our underlying economy because all of these things are still true. Inflation is at a 40-year high. Real wages are following, following as a result. Um, you know, people are having trouble buying gas because it is um, at sky-high prices. Um, and people are having trouble deciding whether or not to fill up their gas tanks or buy groceries for the week. I'm Chris Woodward. South Korea says that North Korea has fired two short-range ballistic missiles toward the sea in its first ballistic weapons test in two weeks. Friday's launches came after the U.S. military warned the North that the use of nuclear weapons, quote, will result in the end of that regime. The back-to-back launches, the North's first ballistic missile tests since October 14th, came on the final day of South Korea's annual 12-day field exercises, which North Korea views as an invasion rehearsal. A Colorado town is organizing to fend off an abortionist plan to set up shop. Here's AFN's Charlie Butts. Leroy Carhart has quite a reputation in the abortion industry, and he wants to set up a baby termination center in Pueblo. He has a history of botched abortions. At least two patients have died after abortions. And he is currently facing malpractice lawsuits at his Maryland abortuary. Tamara Axworthy of a Caring Pregnancy Center in Colorado tells AFN they have been devastated by the news knowing he does late-term abortions. You know, we know sex traffickers use abortion clinics to hide their crimes. Uh, We know that women who are facing emergency situations don't opt for four-day procedures. And uh, this is a residential area up the street from an elementary school. So these children are going to have to walk by that every day. That's going to be devastating to that local community. The pro-life part of the community is ready to organize and to get busy. There's been conversations happening with members of the leadership in, in Pueblo. And there's a website now that has been active for a couple of days. It's getting a lot of attention. And there's some calls to action on that, including prayer and fasting, as well as contacting the mayor's office and letting him know where people stand. So only time will tell whether city fathers are convinced to take action and make sure no children die in the latest Carhartt venture. I'm Charlie Butts. And that's American Family News on the Hour. I'm Chad Groening. Despair around you, for some air roll. Just live it all in Jesus Christ, and you'll come smiling through. When you're lost out in the dark night and trouble, these are souls. Sleeping now is ready to 
sweet.